Good morning. Uh, today is the ninth. <laughs> I did actually check. Today is the 9th of January 2020. I'm very excited. It is early morning in China. Um, the weather is quite overcast. Actually, it's actually drizzling. You know, it's still winter here. Still adjusting to my new surroundings of winter in the beginning of the year. Um, oh, check here. This is one of the gifts I actually got myself in Christmas Avengers. Anyway, the point of this video is I was given this lovely gift from my boss and you know me, I like to unpack things in front of the video. I know what it is, but uh, maybe I can do some explaining and whatnot. Okay, so first of all, this is a box. So, you know, in a box, you know, they put things in the box. So, you know, you can protect it. But anyway, ooh, it's quite big, quite heavy, and very useful for me. Look at that. It's a suitcase. So, the company I work with, uh, well, it's called First Sleep, and they are under a brand called TAL, which is some education institution well it's responsible just to make sure you know uh, the curriculums they teach are of standard and obviously of legitimacy um, so basically you know it's a cool oh heavy ass not that big but it's very useful suitcase so why is it useful well when you live in another country you're going to need a suitcase and the one that I had before literally I had to drag it the wheels are broken and everything but I really appreciated it because it was the only suitcase I had at that time and now I've been fortunate enough to actually buy my own and now I can use this one but that's not all there's actually more to it oh gosh okay there we go uh, there we go and now I want to show you what's in it so here we go okay wait, I'll show you the, the, the little treaty they also gave me as well so check here a whole bag of sweets it looks like uh, yeah just regular Chinese sweets uh, they sell these in South Africa, in Chinatown, these are very, very cool. And this one I'm very familiar with, the white rabbit little candies. Um, these are actually pretty delicious and I'm very excited and very happy to have received them. Now what's in here is more the Chinese tradition and how about they do Chinese New Year's. So that's the main reason behind the gift. So okay, first of all, Chinese newspaper. So as you can see, that's what a typical Chinese newspaper looks like. Uh, looks like they are explaining things. Unfortunately, a large portion of it is in Chinese, so I can't read it. But, <clears throat> oh, would you look at that? We've got the back part. Um, there's a lot of explaining, you know, the, the toy, the rat toy up, the new calendar year, red packets and uh, spring couples and basically it's just explaining probably what goes on. I couldn't be bothered to be fair but I appreciate the gesture behind it. So here's where I can actually practice a bit of Chinese tradition. So I start off with the small box, so I like to screw up with the small box first. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five boxes in here, so I will do that as quick as possible. So box number one is... Mm. Okay, it looks... Oh my gosh! Okay, so it looks like it's just a little like a toy or like a display thing. So as you can see, it's just a little person with his graduation thing and his certificate and he's got the company logo there. It's a student on a thing. It's very cool. 
I like it. Can go, can chill with my duck, which is actually right there. So that's gift number one. Very thoughtful gift, to be fair. Gift number two, let's have a look at the second smaller one. Ah, yeah, this, this is actually pretty useful for me. So, this, ooh, this is a red envelope so what is a red envelope why is it important so in china when they celebrate the chinese new year <coughs> they they go around well they go to the people they want to celebrate with and you know they give them a red envelope and generally it has money in it and it's just wishing good fortune and lots of money and just, it's a well wishes, you know, very similar to Christmas when you get a gift for someone. This is their version. Very nice, very thoughtful. Um, obviously red because of the Nian, the Chinese monster that will come and eat the children. So red, you put it on your wall. Well, red is just to protect yourself from it because the monster is scared of the color red. Let's go with the... Smaller box. Smaller box. So yeah. So this. Uh, so this is something. Well, my colleague told me you put this on your window. I'm not gonna do that to be fair because I like to look outside my window. Um, but I know that you can also put this outside your door by your apartment. Um, this is also a means of just protecting yourself against the evil Nian. But it's also a Chinese custom. Right? They generally put this <coughs> like outside their house to protect themselves. So this is uh, another Chinese tradition. The other small one, which is the same size, let's have a look. I think this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same thing, but this one isn't just to protect yourself from the evil Nian. This is also to pre uh, bring good luck upon your home and yourself. So they like to talk about like bringing good fortune and money. So this is that one. So protect yourself and wish good fortune. So that is box number four. And the final one, let's have a look quickly, and, oh, jeez, what is this? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, this one has nothing to do with tradition. This is simply a calendar, a 2020 calendar, so I probably should have opened this, well, I only got the gift yesterday, so... Uh, yeah, this is very nice, wonderful as one team, and there we go, go straight into it. So today is the 9th, so I will be over here. And how do I put this up? Like that. And there we go. <laughs> and there you go, and that is it. That's a beautiful gift as well. So yeah, um, thank you very much for sleep and TL for that wonderful gift. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great start to your 2020. All the best. Pew!